Hello, it's Steve White, Trickboy89 for Steve Arts 89 Well, looks like Peacock and Paramount Plus could be merging. Um, Comcast is getting involved. Um, Comcast is also trying to buy Paramount. They've been in discussions to buy Paramount. A lot of people have been in discussions to buy Paramount. It's, um, it's up in the air what's happening with Paramount. Is it going to be broken up and sold off in parts? Is it going to be sold as a whole? Um, it's... we don't know what's happening. But, um... Peacock and um, Paramount Plus content has been sort of put on the same platforms before and they've sort of done in Europe and that their own sort of, um, sort of, they've already done this basically, but this would be sort of doing it um, with the main sort of American market. So it's, it's I don't know what, what difference it would make. I mean, we're already seeing a cutback on Star Trek production. They sort of, the only reason why Legacy hasn't happened is because they can't afford to do another show. So they have to wait for one of the other shows to finish before they can do another one, basically. I think it's sad because they wasted so much money on Discovery. Um, that money could have been spent on actual Star Trek. I mean, when you think of how much money they spent and, and when you think of what sort of Star Trek show they could have produced if they'd had that the sort of money Discovery had... Um, in the beginning, at least. It's kind of depressing, a little sad. Um, and, yeah, Kurtzman was pushing his Starfleet Academy, which, of course, he owns, because what people don't understand is is whatever they create for the new Star Trek, they own that creation. They don't own the Star Trek um, IP itself, but they own what they create, so they make money out of that. And um, I think Legacy was just um, falling back too much on characters that were already created by other people, so they wouldn't get money from them because they're not their characters. So it's a total money political reason why Star Trek Legacy isn't being made. Um, and Kurtzman wants his own original show up, not because fans want it, because no one wants it, not because it's going to be good or going to be popular or make money, but because it's his show and any money that is made is going to be, you know, he's going to be making it because they basically get paid to make the show and then they pay themselves with the budget before they actually spend it on production. So... Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, I don't know what it would mean. I mean, where I was getting with that is, is they'll probably spend less money on Star Trek and be producing less in the future, um, because they need to cut back, because they spent, <laughs> the whole streaming wars was a disaster. The whole idea of spending money to make money, spending money to get subscribers, um, didn't really work. Um, and they just lost a lot of money spending money on, on TV shows that were never going to make the money back. And now they're trying to keep going while cutting back, so it's a bit of a mess. Um, but yeah, Peacock and Paramount together would be obviously a more, you know, a stronger um, product, but um, is it going to negative, negatively affect the show or production? It's unclear. But um, yeah, I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know what to think. Um, I just want one real Star Trek show to be produced in the near future. It's just all I want, just one. We got one season of a show that resembled Star Trek but still was caught up and dragging behind all this baggage from um, Kurtzman's Star Trek from season one and two of Picard. Season three was good, but it could have been better and it had a lot of issues that were, you know, associated with the other season. So it'd just be nice to have a Star Trek show from scratch that's just a Star Trek show. But with the budget that Discovery had, that would be amazing. But it's never going to happen now. We might get a show, but it's not going to have the money that they had um, when they were doing Discovery and that. So, ah, the potential, the missed opportunities, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um, but, yeah, we'll see.